Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Wet Testing. In today's episode, we're gonna take a closer look at super ultra wide monitors. So let's dive right into it. Now first you have to understand a bit of history around it. Now when uh, basically video came along as in analog video, the CRT TV came into existence. Now people uh, agreed upon a ratio 4 is to 3. Basically if you divide the width part of it in 4 pieces, you can put 3 on the height side. Now 4 is to 3 is more or less 1 by 1. It's almost square but a little bit of uh, width is there. Now this became de facto standard for everything. Now you have to also understand at this point in time cinema as in the film camera that was being used that was also recording more or less at the same point so cinema industry decided to up, up the ante because if because you have to understand in early days there were only two options either you had tv or you had to go to cinemas to for cinema to become more lucrative to like you know not lose out to television they created a new standard which we call cinema scope basically 2.66 is to 1 now this scope was specifically created so no matter what they do they cannot show it on the tv so that is why it is so ultra wide and it also uh, allows for extra immersion so there is some benefit to it and it was created to you know combat basically television now this is very old the technology i am talking about is analog technology now at the advent of basically digital broadcasting digital cameras and digital everything then people needed a new standard now this is a cinema standard for film roll this is a standard for analog tv or sd then people came up with the idea how about, how about if we take this and take this merged it on top of each other so that way you get a square basically a box with a ratio of what we call 16 by 9 aka the widescreen aka what you are watching right now so this is the uh, became the new standard 1080p the full hd standard this is the whole this tv that you are seeing is this ratio so if you wanted to watch a cinema scope you will get a little bit of litter box uh, from top to bottom and if you wanted to watch basically old classic TVs you will get letterbox on the sides that was the whole idea so basically 16 by 9 is the best of these two world now at this point in time everything is becoming more or less 16 is to 9 and this specifically became an issue because of Dark Knight because in Dark Knight, the movie switches a lot between these two. Basically, they go from the cinema scope to full HD. And IMAX theater is also full, uh, basically 16 is to 9. IMAX theater are not made for 2.66 uh, is to 1 ratio. So IMAX specif uh, specializes into that aspect. So at this point in time, we have three, uh, basically only two aspect ratio that is key. The cinema aspect ratio and the full HD one. This is almost dead. So at this point in time, you have only these two things to worry about. Then we come to the aspect of computers. Now you have to understand, computers are our backbone. Many of you, maybe all of you that are watching this video is making a living using computers. So computers are not no longer a luxury to us. It is a necessity. So at this point in time, one monitor is not enough. If you have worked in any sort of creative professional, CAD modeling or any sort of uh, financing where you have to handle large amount of data, you know for a fact that one monitor is just not enough. You have to have to. Now, it's not like you cannot do it in one monitor. If you are low on budget, yeah, you're going to make do with what you have. But if you can have, you will want to have two monitors for programming, for vlogging, for basically live broadcasting system. I used to work in 3D environment, uh, 3D department and had to have that like only one time i went into a studio then they had single monitor i'm like no nope, i'm not even gonna try to get a job here like no just no i'm like uh, from my institute to my studio to my basically clients uh, from microsoft to sony all of them had dual monitor and some even had triple monitors so going back uh, like it is not a luxury thing it is necessity if you try to do all that in one monitor, you will spend a lot of time switching back and forth between programs. That will be very, very inefficient. So we have to have it. It's not a desire, it's a necessity. So dual monitor became the de facto standard. Now, yes, you have to understand this. From going from two to three monitors will not add too much, but going from one to two adds a lot. So computer industry, basically the manufacturers, they decided to help us along and they thought, okay, cinema scope is there. It's not dying. Basically, even though IMAX is becoming popular, even though uh, mastering for multiple ratios is popular nowadays, still cinema scope, basically that ultra wide still retains its feet. So they're like, well, how about if we directly made a monitor for that? Digital monitors are easy to make for that. So they did. Now, the benefit of that is, let's say you have only one monitor or you can only afford one monitor or you just want to have one thing. This is a very good compromise because it is very wide compared to normal 16 inch 9 and if you, any of you have opened the 3ds max or maya you know the giant menu list it comes at the side it takes up a lot of space if you can remove that to the other edges and you get a lot of viewport that is really awesome and same goes for adobe photo adobe uh, basically any 
uh, software that has timeline be it davinci resolve be it adobe premiere the timeline if the longer the timeline the more you can see so it is a necessary luxury not luxury would be not correct but necessary boost to your productivity so this became the benefit and not to mention many of us use our computer as de facto entertainment centers in those scenario watching movies without any black bars is amazing that's completely different like the immersion is on a completely different level and that's how the director wanted you to see the movie you have to understand that cinema scope is not just a choice because many times people use what we call achromatic uh, lens uh, basically there are adapters because digital film sensors are not uh, basically that wide so they use normal sensor but they use a lens amorphic lens to squeeze the image so when you de squeeze it in a proper uh, basically ultra wide it has a different feel to it you will enjoy it once you see it and there is certain uh, charm to it and especially in gaming also because this while ever it's extra wide it's not that wide that game will break now of course there are some games that flat out does not work but majority do work so that's the term however it's still uh, bottleneck at the same point is like it's still too small basically it's good it's better than 16 by 9 for many production but it's still not big enough basically you cannot say okay i will only buy one you may have to end up buying two for monitors for your production so comes the savior the new uh, kid in the block super ultra wide monitor now this is running on 32 is to 9 there is nothing that has this ratio nothing like that's why i have nothing in brackets there is nothing about this there is no cinema there is nothing that is shot into this however it does need to have a curve basically a 16 by 9 flat monitor is possible a 32 by 9 flat monitor is a nightmare like if somebody gave you the, you have to understand when you are sitting at, uh, at a table your center would be this close your far would be so far apart so they have to curve it so uh, it follows your eyes i like uh, basically line of sight properly if they didn't the problem will become the corner elements will become way too hard to see physically see you physically have to move your chair to see that defeats the whole purpose so they have to have curve now this technology became very uh, prominent and possible in new it is now it is because of led and uh, amoled displays so that's why many of them have led backlights almost none of them have old uh, fashion backlights i mean like it's not possible to curve them properly like you can curve them but they have a lot of uh, lighting issues so these monitors are uh, basically employing the latest and greatest we have in technology and this has to have curve that's why if you ever see a boxes of this they look more or like like a basically square they don't look like a normal monitor if i covered it up you will not be able to tell it has a monitor inside because of that curve so the curve is very crucial and if you are planning to buy it please pay attention to the curve please pay attention to it or just go to a shop that has it because if the curve is good for you it's awesome if it's not eh so of course like it's not going to hurt you but if you can get the perfect curve for you for your workspace it's awesome now the consequence of this this is very 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 expensive this is basically uh, more expensive than full hd when it became a reality so at this point in time these are upwards of 4 to 5 times more expensive than uh, basically buying two full hd or even buying two 4k in some scenario not all the time but 1440p monitors are uh, cheaper so at this point nobody gives you this in 4k why because there is no graphics card that can drive this because this is properly two monitors basically you have to drive two 4k monitors which is literally out of scope of any graphics card now not for uh, basically production but for uh, if you are doing gaming yeah your graphics card is not going to have a hard time very hard time even uh, gtx uh, titan and 2080 ti will have hard time like for samsung that is why samsung focused on making a gaming quote and quote gaming display they focused on full hd so it is a full hd display and benefit it has very high refresh rate Be benefit your uh, normal gtx 1080 can also run this properly Philips released this new one. This is a thirteen hundred dollar monitor, and I really like the implementation of webcam into this. It's basically now it's not the latest and greatest, but does come with a simple as like if you don't want it, you turn it upwards and uh, squash it down into a physical slot. So basically, no software hack can hack this. So that is pretty amazing. But again, this also has some benefit uh, side effects because it is fourteen forty p. You have to have a very good graphics card in order for gaming. So these are not for gaming. Do understand it and flat out. There are some games that have hard time with twenty one is to nine. There are almost very few games that can utilize this because at this ratio, you physically need two cameras in a, your gaming to render it. If one camera is used for rendering it, it will get like squashed. basically and uh, it has it has to do with perspective how perspective is rendered in a cg environment you have to have multiple camera if you are going this wide so there are some consequences first cost let's say even if you have the money for it it may be very hard for you maybe your game does not work with it so before you choose to buy this 
please pay attention to does your game work does what you want to do does this allow because otherwise you have to do black bars and this is very bad for cinema experience because we are used to black bars top and bottom but yet we are not used to black bars on left and right so this will happen in this now the core reason why anybody even want to bother with this is simply this is a dual display this is if you get something this is this big this wide with good enough resolution like full hd not 720p full hd or 4k 4k i haven't seen anyone but right now the highest i can go is like 1440p that's big enough that is good enough that you can actually say here's a here's the deal i'm not gonna have two monitors i'm gonna have one big monitor and given the fact that you don't have a bezels in between it's amazing but for productivity it's not a gaming uh, centric system it is amazingly awesome useful and some games have multiple cameras for rendering purposes they can give you a very good experience but please check before buying it so at this point in time this is becoming the new standard now uh, will this sell more and uh, cost will come down that depends on how good these th few systems are uh, like you know perform because right now philips have dropped it samsung have dropped it asus has dropped it and acer is also working on something so right now there are five six companies that are dropping if they do well then the market will catch on so at this point is you have to pay for that early bird price so at this point in time this does allow you to remove two monitors and put just one big awesome monitor but does you have to pay the price and hope your graphics card can handle it so this was my presentation on ultra wide monitor i hope you liked it learn from it in that case please leave a like click the ads that are shown in this video that will directly help me if you didn't like it don't worry about it you can press dislike i would urge you to press this twice to show me your extra disappointment and please leave a comment because i reply to all of them press subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching